Hey guys, what's up? Back with another video about the forecast, and today we'll be going over the rest of January and early February's forecast. That includes a possible few snowstorms for the north into early February before another ridge moves in, bringing more heat to most of the U.S. Now, before we get into anything else, we will be talking about the possibility mainly of ice, which the main possibility for ice will be sometime in the middle of February, with possibly somewhere up to half an inch of ice falling, but yet again, this is really far out and is definitely going to change. Now, the reason why I will say it, that it is going to change is because of the disagreement between the models. As you can see, the Canadian model differs from the GFS model, showing the storm not only occurring earlier, but more intense and more southerly. And according to the NAM, there is also going to be a small bit of ice that occurs in Illinois, Texas, Oklahoma, and Arkansas. Now going into the snow portion of the forecast, this is the total snowfall through mid-February and the main spots where heavy snow is going to fall, northern California and the higher elevations and the northeast and maybe even up there in the UP of Michigan and Minnesota and the high plains. As for the European model, it does show a little bit less snow for generally overall but does not show the apparent system that is going to happen around the 10th. But again, this is probably going to change. As for the severe weather situation, the Euro shows a few storms popping up, but due to the zonal flow, they do go pretty fast. But going into middle February, there is a ridge that sets up, bringing warmer air into the US, which could cause more storms. GFS shows something very similar with the first two storms and afterwards it shows the same thing with the ridge coming into California and causing a bunch of warm air in the south causing bigger storms to start forming. And now looking at the dew points for the GFS model, once that ridge moves in these storms start to draw more and more moisture in and at the end of the model run a very concerning huge plume of moisture comes into the U.S., which could pose a problem if it actually does end up happening. And the final thing we'll be looking at in this video will be the temperatures. As you can see, it generally starts warming up by around the 5th of February. It starts to really warm up in the U.S., and it just continues to push the heat up into the south and even up into the areas like Nebraska, Michigan, getting in on some 40 degree temps 50 degree temps meanwhile down south it's somewhere around the 80s 70s and i think that's going to do it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it um if you liked it you like it and uh subscribe i guess and uh, i'll have more forecast videos coming out if some big changes happen and of course i am currently working on the outbreak review for the 12th Anyways, that's it. Bye.